Hi, I'm Emily, and today I'm going to talk with you about cancer-related fatigue. 90% of patients report fatigue as their number one symptom. Cancer-related fatigue is different than fatigue that you may just have of daily normal life. Cancer-related fatigue just sticks with you, sort of like if you have a heavy backpack on and you just can't get it off, you feel very weighed down and tired all the time. I'm going to show you three exercises that you can do that help with cancer-related fatigue and helping you give, give you more strength and more energy and in return more endurance. All right, so we have Sarah here and she is going to demonstrate sit to stand. This movement is going to be beneficial as we use our leg muscles every day for getting in and out of bed, using the restroom, getting in and out of the car, sitting down at doctor's appointments. It's important to make sure you have good posture while performing this movement. You're looking straight ahead and not down as the floor as that can tend to, lead, to move your body towards the ground. Now we are going to move into an upper body exercise. Sarah is going to perform a shoulder press. This is going to be an upper body movement. You are going to start with the weights by your shoulder and simply press up towards the ceiling and lower back down. This movement is going to work your shoulders, which is going to be beneficial for putting away dishes when you are having to reach to that top shelf to put them away, washing your hair, any movement that is going to cause your arms to extend upward. Next, we are going to do another upper body exercise. We are going to do a countertop push-up. You're gonna start with your hands shoulder width apart at a nice angle, and you are going to lower your chest to the counter and back up. The reason I like a countertop push-up is it's easier for if you are needing modifications, if you have any injuries to you know, your neck, your low back, you have good support from here. Benefits of this movement are pushing movements. So pushing a door open as you're walking into an appointment, pushing a stroller if you have younger children, anything that is going to require the pushing movement. It's not only going to work your shoulders and your chest, but it's also going to work your ab muscles, your core muscles as well, your low back, and your butt muscles.